Last Christmas, my granddaughter gave me a nutcracker dressed up as a sailor, and I wondered, what am I going to do with that? Here is the clock called the quarterdeck striker. The quarterdeck of a navy ship is where you'd find a sailor in dress whites striking the ship's bell. Striker also happens to be a navy term for a junior sailor in training. Quarterdeck striker is an electromechanical clock with three servo motors, one for the winder, one for the digital time display, and one for the striker, which rings out nautical time from one to eight bells every half hour in four-hour cycles. The going train is a conventional set of wheels governed by a short pendulum which regulates a gram deadbeat escapement at 120 beats per minute. It is a weight-driven movement, the weights being those port and starboard outrigger pucks you see at the bottom of the frame. These weights are on ratchets, so either one can engage its drive wheel to power the clock. At any given time, one weight is driving the clock, and the other is either being lifted into ready position or is already there poised to take over. Once every five minutes or so, the active weight reaches the bottom of its range and trips a relay, causing the wind cycle to start. That weight then gets lifted up by its supporting glass bead, while the opposite weight engages its drive wheel as its glass bead is simultaneously lowered. For a second or two, both weights are working so the power is continuous. To the best of my knowledge, this maintaining power concept is original. Every 15 seconds, an actuator on the escape wheel closes a circuit that results in the odometer-type display advancing by 15 seconds. This mechanism uses Geneva wheels to minimize the occasions when a drum will come to rest in between numbers. Every half hour, the striker is set in motion, driven by a third motor. The big wheel with the compass rows sports three rings of cams, one each for the run cycle, the warning cycle, and the striker impulses from one to eight bells. All devices are run on 12 volts DC provided by two old power converters from the junk drawer. The back of the clock contains the wiring, which would present a messy picture if not kept out of sight. A small control panel enables circuits to be individually shut down and permits manual operation of all functions for time setting and troubleshooting purposes. The oval back frame is from an old coffee table found in the attic. Wheels and pinions and the outer frames are plywood, mostly Baltic birch. Some other parts use assorted scrap hardwood found lying around the shop. This squared away sailor stands watch around the clock. A fair wind and following seas to you, young man. <laughs>